In the next five minutes, I'll show you a six step process that fixes 80% of the problems on 80% of websites. These are mistakes I see on the web almost every day and ones we see beginners make time and again after teaching over 10,000 students at Flux Academy. So once you think your design is done, run it through this checklist just like I'm about to do on this random live website. The first step is to remove the unnecessary. Anything that doesn't need to be in there just gets in the way of the communication. So we don't need home in the navigation menu when it's a convention to click on the logo to go back to home. It says design, build, install as a tagline as part of the logo. So why is this just repeated for the hero section? This is a complete waste of the most important area on the page. We don't need this little company number as part of the logo. All the way through, we have these hanging rules. But what are they for? What do they really add graphically? Looks particularly strange with the gray on the red. Get rid of them. Secondly, we want to improve text legibility. That means we can actually read what's written on the page. Call me conservative, but I think that's pretty important. So here we have this red text on this complicated background, and that's making these words hard to read. Later, gray text is placed on a red field. There's not enough contrast here, especially with this thin tight weight. So we can also, as well as changing this color, bump up the weight slightly. And that needs to be done in the navigation as well. This is key for us to be able to get around the site. And this is too small and thin. We need to change at least one of those things. Some further tidying up of the typesetting, adding in paragraph breaks, making sure the line spacing and the line length are correct will help this be a lot more readable. Thirdly, we want to make sure we're using color intentionally. We have a slightly darker red here to show that this is the navigation bar. The gray in the logo seems different from this pretty much black in the header section. Then we have this kind of mid gray that doesn't really sit nicely with the red. More different grays and blacks all the way through used in random ways like we have the gray text on red and then white text on red, back to black and different grays. We can completely simplify that. Let's use one red. This can be our brand color. And we can also use that as an accent, like on these icons, or semantically for things like buttons. So as well as the red and the white, let's unify all these greys and blacks. Let's have one black. In fact, we can make it a slightly red shade, just off black, that uses the same hue value as our brand red, tying these together. This is now much more bold and graphical with white, black, red, which fits the style that's been established by the logo type and the headline font. Number four, apply consistent spacing. We can add a 12 column grid guidelines to our design using the same margins as in the original on the left and the right, but now we have a place to align everything to. We're gonna put everything on an eight pixel grid system, meaning that all our spaces are gonna be multiples of eight. And we're gonna make sure that all of these sections have room to breathe and that everything is correctly aligned. You might think that inconsistent spacing is something that users wouldn't really notice, but overall it produces an effect where things just feel off. And when spacing is right, it's not something that's necessarily noticed, but just the whole experience feels calmer and more premium. Number five, maintain visual consistency. This form suddenly introduces different fonts, graphical styles, and inconsistent spacing. And just by simplifying and tidying that up, we make it much more easy for the user to get to grasp with. We also have social media icons that introduce new colors and gradients, and we can just turn them all to white, maintain the con visual consistency of our site, but because these are so ubiquitous, they're still recognizable. Number six, enhance graphic communication. Just by moving these images, which were buried quite a long way down the scroll, up to the top, we immediately communicate what this company does. So we don't need that text anymore, which says that we design, build and install signs. We can see this range of signs, so it communicates it in a nanosecond. And it also adds visual interest to the hero section and credibility, showing the kind of work that they've done. It's key for them to communicate their services, but the old version was easy to gloss over. If we make each of these four services cards, it's clear that they are four separate services. Then we can improve the graphical look of them, increase the size of the text so it's clearer, and turn each of these into clickable buttons that go through to a section explaining each of these services. 
These two changes have massively increased the graphic communication score of this top section. With more time, I would recommend adding in quality photography to this middle section and perhaps experimenting with different layouts. But in just a few minutes, we have massively improved how well this website communicates. Whether you want to grasp the fundamentals, master the software, or take your websites to the next level, we've got hundreds of videos here on the channel to help you, plus a pile of free resources on our website, linked in the description. Until next time, happy designing.